The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son.
I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself. To the brink of death. You get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Really? Push! Unbelievable. Not exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? We let ourselves get carried away. Look, these things happen. Let's just hope this isn't some omen. Gladio, do me a favor. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Prompto, don't even think about it. Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nuh-uh. We just switched back there! And it's my turn, Nucked. His turn. Oh, my hands are killing me. You rather I kill you with mine? Easy there, tough guy. Any luck? Only a busy signal. Hold the phone. Is it just me? Or was it supposed to be way closer? I assure you, the map is correct. The map said Hammerhead was right there. Literally, next door. Looks that way. On a map of the world. <sighs> the world's a big old place, filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. You guys even pushing? Hard as I can. With everything I've got, we'll be there in no time. Y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Paw Paw. Well, that makes you. Cindy, Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now, we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it, either. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? 
Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. Well, might as well make good use of the extra time. Whoa! They got Ebony out here! Oh, Ignis is gonna flip! Wait, uh, what's a gill? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Enough for room and board. Any noteworthy news? Hey, I had it! A moment, Noct. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. Huh. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Hate to ask, but could we borrow some cash? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? All according to Sid's plan. I say we play along and teach him not to underestimate us. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, 
This ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though. Don't tell Papa. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. Looks like we found our first targets. Ready knocked. up. Excellent work. On we go.
They aren't gonna know what hit them. Let's do this. Time. Let's get on with it. So, uh, where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it. Almost there. Give it your all. Finished. That's great, cause I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. the shack over there. This creature is known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks, 
extracting gain from the safety and comfort of barrels. That's so... Good to go. Hey, who's out there? Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Oh, yeah. We'll take care of it. Well, y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. Way to show some spunk. Now let's get ready to kick some tail. Stop before we set out. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crowns Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh. Is it cool that we rock Crown's Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. You even got a sweet insignia on them. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. Call it a day. All right. I'm gonna pitch the tent.
perfect timing. <laughs> Like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. Well, like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid'll stuff his wrench where the sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Let's hit it. All right. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We'd best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. Uh, what? Scared, big guy? You ought to be, too. Thing's vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Ready for round two? Bring it. Never fear. Who's here? Claudio, do it. And on we go. Yep. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Ken. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So... Who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the legroom in back. <sighs> yeah.
He's only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't... It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane! That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Well, it explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. Feels so sluggish, indeed. And here we are. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure, why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. Forecast. Clear skies, with the temperature rising. Nice. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah. <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! <laughs> uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels.
Well, I'd say that's far enough for today. Might be wise to... You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk so you all just sit tight. Hmm? Uh, Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Atta boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? <sighs> just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. Everything in order? Yep. All right. For our next story, Lady Lunafreya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have. And I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. What's that? I do? Buzz off. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kind of want to go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. And savor the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. What are you 
say we pull over for a minute? Yeah, my throat's bone dry. Sounds like grounds for a pit stop. Sounds like a waste of time and money. Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Let's fish. Like a kid in a toy shop. Hello there. Come to fish the deep blue sea? Always a pleasure. See you next time. Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? Hmm? Hey, Noct. That looks like a fishing spot. Serious? This will be our first time fishing outside the Crown City. Wonder what you can catch out here. Only one way to find out. Great job, Noct. I'm all fished out, and I haven't even...
go. What? what the hell was that? Look at the size of that thing. He's off on the reeling. Wow, you did good. Spool the line before it's too late. So, uh, you think in a fairy tale, Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, no need to rush to happily ever after. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. Ah, uh, come on, you can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Yeah, whatever. That's it! What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. What's all this about the port closing? <sighs> Some kind of hole. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Let me get this shot. Oh, love the lighting. Huh. Welcome to Golden Key. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Uh huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. <sighs> oh. Yeah, right. <sighs> you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. Mommy, the sea's all shiny sparkly! It is, isn't it? We had to... So 
full right now. about the port closing. Out of service indeed. Ah, <sighs> man. Not a ship in sight. What gives? Now that's a meal. According to my sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctus? Name's Dino, by the way. <laughs> 